walked and drove around this golf course community tonight right next to North Carolina Wesleyan and as you can see seems to have really taken a beating tonight out here tonight. We found stories of survival as well as how this community is planning to rebuild together. Mark was saying, Joyce, are you OK? And I was saying, Mark, are you OK? Joyce Payne and Mark Froman are thankfully OK tonight. Nature has its, its way. I'm just glad it picked me up and didn't take me with it. <laughs> Their house, though, is not because of this. Got to be a tornado. A fast moving tornado that tore a furious path through Nash County and through their roof. Whatever we had, you panic and you do the best you can. Not only did this home take a beating, but so did their neighbor Bobby Clark in this Belmont Lake Preserve community. I thought a helicopter was coming to land down and started getting louder and louder and louder and then boom. That boom took out Bobby's bathroom window and nearly him with it. One Early second ago, sooner, yeah. And turned. I mean, that's the way life is. We drove around the community to find other signs of destruction, including this huge tree which snapped into a living room. Looking at the 10th hole of the golf course, you could see exactly where the storm went. And it's also time to get out and be missional. After the storm, we found this church youth group helping to pick up debris from lawns in the same neighborhood. Instead of having to clean up our own mess, we were able to come out and help others. A community cleaning up and thanking something otherworldly for protecting them. Be prepared and have faith. We also spoke with the state's area representative Alan Chesser. He told me it's important to remember that the recovery process can be just as dangerous as the storm itself. So we'll let the professionals do their job to clear the roads and don't take any risks that you don't have to. Stephen Lauren, back to you. Good to see those teenagers jumping yeah. in to help where they can. Josh Chapin, thank you.